She's building me up. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo and today I'm going to be making just a quick little video to show you guys how CSGO.exchange's trade-up contract simulator works because on my most recent video a lot of people were asking uh, how exactly this works. So I'm going to be giving you guys a quick little tutorial on how it works and how you guys can figure out how to calculate what trade-up results you're going to get. So the reason, by the way, that this is really important is because when you're doing a trade up, you want to make sure that the float of the items that you're putting in are actually going to produce an item that has a certain float value that you want. So for example, if you do like a trade up of field tested items into an op Asimov trade up, you might actually get a well worn op Asimov instead of a field tested one. And that's really, really bad because the well worn one is worth $10 less than the field tested one. So you're actually losing money. So you want to make sure that you know what exactly what float you're going to get from the outcome item and uh, that means you're going to, you know, uh, be able to use one of these trade-up contract simulators to find out how to do that. Also, before we begin, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. I have a lot of video ideas planned for the future, and I'm really happy that you guys are receiving my videos really well. I, I, I'm really glad that you guys are leaving a lot of likes on my videos and a lot of really supportive and positive comments. That means a lot to me. It makes me feel really, really good. It gives me a lot of mo motivation to keep making videos. Um, so just a sneak peek, the video that's coming out next is going to be a part two to my investment video that I recently made for the Steam Summer Sale because you guys like smashed the like button on that and you really watched that video a lot. So I decided you probably want another 10 skins or so that you could potentially invest in for the Summer Sale since it's coming up. And uh, yeah, that's going to be my next video. So uh, before we do that though, we got to finish this video. So, this is CSGO.exchange, it's its trade-up contract simulator, uh, it'll say calculator contract right here, and it gives you a quick little tutorial here, but to be honest, a lot of this is really confusing, like I know the first time that I went onto this site, a lot of this was super confusing to me, and uh, what we're going to do is just kind of take you through a, a contract, and uh, a normal trade-up contract, and how you would figure out the full values. So, uh, one of the first things that you want to do though, is you want to go to the Steam profile that you have, go to your inventory, and then find the skins that you're using for the trade-up. Uh, let's say, for example, I'm using this Glock Offworld. Um, has its price, tells you the collection it's in, and the exterior, and everything like that. If you want to get the float value for the skin, you just click Inspect in Game. And so now we have the Glock 18 Offworld. And as you can see, uh, if you scroll over the information thing right here, it'll tell you the finish style, the finish catalog, the pattern template, and the wear rating. So the wear rating of this Glock is a .315. Uh, 0.3159 if you want to get technical, but pretty much we just need to know the first three digits of it. You can check that by inspecting the item from your inventory and then uh, hovering over this little eye and it'll tell you the wear rating. You'll start uh, on the settings tab right here. It'll tell you uh, basically the quality, the category, and the condition that you're going for. Also, there's like a little method thing right here. So you can do like new theory and old theory. Um, I, I believe you, actually, you, you want to use new theory for this currently because it's based on the outcomes and uh, that that will make it more accurate. It does depend on the trade-up that you're doing and uh, I'll talk about that in a bit. But first of all, <clears throat> let's do this trade-up. So the quality is a mil-spec grade. It's a non-stat track, so it's normal and the condition is field tested. So then you want to click start contract and then you'll choose the first weapon. For us, it is a Glock Offworld, uh, which is part of the Spectrum 2 collection. So uh, let's go ahead and find the Spectrum 2 collection real quick. I'm going to have trouble finding this, aren't I? <laughs> Spectrum 2 collection, there we go. So we want to select the Glock off world. And then once we've selected it, it's going to tell us like the exterior and the max and the minimum uh, floats and all that kind of thing. And then what we want to do here is it says the exterior value, the float value. You want to put in what float value is uh, that you actually have. So for me, it's a 312. So I'm just going to put 312. And I'm going to click use weapon. And then it'll give me a 0.312 float valued uh, Glock 18 off world, which as you can see is field tested. Next, um, we're just going to assume that we have the exact same float value for all these. Obviously, that's not entirely true. Obviously, I already showed you how to get the float value for all the weapons. So next, you just want to click copy, and you can actually go through and copy every single one of these uh, over. Just keep, keep, keep clicking copy over and over again, and it's going to keep putting in field tested uh, Glock 18 off worlds. It'll keep putting the same float in. It's going to tell you the price of it right there as well, which is nice. And then now that you have it, It'll show you the outcomes, so you can see it's a 20% chance for the trade-up contract, and uh, it'll tell you the float value exactly of what it's going to be if you get that item. It'll tell you field tested, 
if you get the full tested item and stuff like that. So um, it also tell you the best possible outcome right here, which is nice. And uh, yeah, that's basically how you how you use the trade up contract simulator in a basic sense. I'm going to show you the more advanced things in a second here, and uh, yeah, that's that's how you do it. So if we look at trade up hero for example here, we have the blue to purple trade ups, and as you can see, we have four of the sawed off amber fade minimal wares, and then we have six of the famos crypsis factory news. Basically what this trade up does is it gets you a bunch of different outputs. Um, specifically though, the sawed off amber fade minimal wear is only going to have one output. So what that means is uh, you're actually going to have a much more likely chance to get these outputs as you can see here, the 18% outputs, which is really good. That uh, also means that you have a, a better chance to get the Opathris factory new, uh, even though you're only putting in um, four of the minimal wear amber fades, which uh, actually decreases the price of the overall trade up. By quite a fair amount. I think usually this trade up would cost you around seven dollars, uh, a little bit higher. But right now the average value is six oh seven. So uh, although you have a twelve percent chance to lose a decent amount of money on this trade up, of course you do have still pretty much the same amount of chance that you would regularly have to get the upathris. So anyway, the important thing though to look at here with this trade up is that the max float here is 0 0.07, which means that all of your skins that you get can only be up to a 0 0.07 float or else they won't get you the desired outcome. So for example, if some of your skins are above the 0 .07 float uh, part of this trade up, then you're not going to get the factory new op atheris, you're actually only going to get a minimal wear op atheris. So the important thing to note here is that when you're actually doing your trade up contract on CSGO exchange, you have to manually put in that you want this, uh, the exterior float value is 0 .07. So if we make all of these a 0 .07 float, let me click use weapon, and then we copy them all over. Obviously, I can't do that because these are full right now. But uh, you're going to make sure that all of your skins are actually 0 .07. And the way to do that, obviously, is to go to CSGO and check the Inspect tab on the Information tab. And that'll tell you what the float of your weapon is. And then you can figure it out from there. So I'm going to run through a quick little uh, simulator for the 0 .07 float in a second here. All right, so let's try going through the sawed off amber fade minimal wear and the Famos Crypsis factory new trade up. So if we go over to the trade up contract here, we're going to want to select mil spec grade and then a non stat track, so it's going to be normal. And then the condition is going to be minimal wear factory new. And then start the contract. Then what we want to do here on this custom is we're going to put in the minimal wear skins, which is the sawed off amber fade, which uh, if we check real quick, this is from the, this is from the train collection. So we find the train collection on here, and the train collection. Then we pick the sawed off amber fade here. We need to make sure that we point, uh, we put a 0 .07 float here, and if we use it, it'll say that it is minimal wear. We're gonna use four of these, so we're just gonna copy over four. And then for this next item, we're gonna use the uh, factory new, uh, basically the Famos Crypsis. You can really just use whatever it is uh, from the Prisma collection. And that'll basically give you what you want in the overall trade up. We'll select the Famos Crepsis Factory new from this. And then we're going to use, it doesn't really matter what float, we don't really, uh, a point zero 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 whatever one float is not super realistic. So we can actually do like a more realistic Factory new float. Probably not a double zero, but like a point zero one. That's probably more realistic for a Factory new. And let me just copy all of these over again. And, uh, We'll have the outcomes displayed here. So we have a 15% chance to get the op atheris. Uh, this is actually, by the way, this is based on old theory. So if we change it to new theory, uh, it'll actually switch it to more correct values, the 14% here and the 21% on this. And uh, it'll tell you obviously the best possible outcome. It'll tell you the float value of what you're getting. And it'll tell you that it's factory new, as you can see here. And so that's how you make sure that you have the correct float values for all of your skins. Hopefully this video helped you guys to figure out how to use the trade-up contract simulator on CSGO Exchange. It's a really, really important tool for people that like to do trade-ups. So uh, you don't want a minimal wear op atheris, obviously, because the minimal wear op atheris, if we check right here, so we switch it to restricted grade here, restricted uh, grade for these trade-ups, and then we'll go to the Prisma collection and select the op atheris. As you can see in factory new condition, it goes for about $23, but if we switch it to minimal wear, as you can see here, after it decides to uh, not just keep going to factory new. All right, let's type in a manual uh, minimal wear float. It's like a 0.15 or something. 
I think is the lowest. Oh, actually, sorry, that's the, that's the maximum, 0.14. There we go, minimal wear. As you can see, the minimal wear off Athrus is only $13 as opposed to the $23 factory new version of the skin. So that's why float values are super, super important in this case. And uh, that pretty much proves it right here in the flesh. So make sure that you're getting your float values correct. And you can do that very easily by using the Trade Up Contract Simulator on CSGO Exchange. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave me a like below to tell me that you enjoyed it. Also leave me a comment telling me anything that I could change for the next video or asking me any questions that you personally have. Uh, consider subscribing if you want more content like this or if you want more content in the future about investments and stuff like that. And uh, if you want to see your video idea featured on this channel, then just leave me a comment below. And if I like your idea, I'll make a video about it and I will credit you in the video itself. So yeah, guys, hopefully this was a informative video for you. Hopefully this was a good tutorial. And uh, there's going to be a lot more videos coming in the future, a lot bigger videos coming in the future, uh, specifically about investments and stuff like that. I have a lot planned for the future, and I'm really excited to see where this channel goes. And uh, thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll see you next time. Nalo signing out. Peace.